Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Today I've teamed up with Hermosa Hair. They sent over this beautiful baddie here. Isn't she fire? Now let me see if I can remember exactly what I have by heart. This is a 22 inch 1B27 colored highlight curly lace wig and she is 220% density pow 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 so i'm gonna be going ahead and installing her straight out of the box for you guys and the icing on the cake with this one is that it has come with the 4c natural edges now you can go ahead and like swoop it like regular good old baby hair um you can trim it off they also have an option if you don't like the 4c edges to just um get this the regular 13 by 4 lace wig like i have but without the 4c edges it'll just come with like natural baby hair or you can get this into closure option so there's definitely some options on the site for you guys also den density and length you can switch out as well to customize it for you but i'm going to go ahead and do a start to finish install you're going to see exactly what this, this this one looks like straight out of the pack and how we install and style her literally uh, from start to finish i'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial be sure to check the description box for a direct link also don't forget to subscribe on your way out if you haven't already now let's go ahead and get right into it okay guys let's get started got my coffee in hand so i'm ready to go this is our beauty here today and you guys know if it's a highlight wig it has to have a dark group for it to look really 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 like crisp and classy so i'm super excited about this one this is a look at the inside construction of the cap so it is a frontal but it is like a free part frontal so sometimes the frontal and the inside will have like this u shape and within the u shape you can part anywhere but on the sides there's like um like cap or like tracks so you'll only be able to have like baby hair on the side so it's a frontal for the baby hair purposes, but you can't do like a deep side part or pull hair from some ponytails and such. So I love this. And of course, it has the adjustable elastic band. As I did mention, this one is Hermosa Hair, which they have some great hair. I have worked with them many a times and they've never failed me thus far. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this one on your girl. So I just put on a fresh wig cap. Um, my braids under here, as usual, are not the flattest. I'm just not into like doing a million cornrows. And um, I like to have access to my hair. And honestly, I'm lazy because it may last longer if I did smaller braids. But I'm lazy. So this is what she looks like on. And as we can already tell, this is a curly highlight wig. It's absolutely full, beautiful, not too thick. Because sometimes you'll get full and it's just insane um it's a beautiful soft curl pattern it's not like hard and crunchy and i love the length on it as far as like of course it's super long but then the shrinkage will give you a nice va va boom now this is a curly edge wig and it is kind of stamped out as a center part i did already show you guys it's a free part so even though it's stamped out as a center part we for sure can move the parting around let me show you guys the hairline and then I'll go to their website and show you what this wig does look like on their website. I'm just going to take a pair of shears. It's almost time for a new pair. They're not as like super sharp as I would like. And I'm just going to trim off any extra. And this is all I took off. Not a whole lot to be honest. And now the wig itself like hugs this ear. And then on this side, it's not too bad. But it's going to like buckle. You see how it'll like buckle? And it'll kind of like come over just a little bit right here. We want to cut that off. Sometimes you'll cut into like the actual hair. And sometimes when you cut off, it'll just be lace. So be mindful of that. Don't be afraid of that. If you cut around and lace or hair comes off with it, it's not a bad thing. Like you didn't do anything wrong. You just customize your wig to fit your head. Now, as I mentioned, this is a curly edge wig. So this is what the curly hairline looks like. Now I will say it's pretty full and we're definitely not gonna need all of this, but I do wanna show you it in its like natural, straight out of the box state. So I'm going to go ahead and add some music over while we trim down because I know you don't want to watch me 
pluck hair by hair okay really quickly before i start i'm gonna show you guys what the wig looks like on the um sales page this beautiful queen is rocking the hair so we're gonna do um a similar look just bust down center part i believe it's kind of combing them out and i'm just gonna lay them flat and i'm just gonna go in and take my time and just get them to a um i guess you can say density that i like and then we'll be right back Might be right. Either you feel it or you don't might give it a try. Yeah. Okay, so this is progress. This is how much I've tweezed out. Now it still looks like a lot, but trust me, once I bond it down, this is not gonna be too much. And this is the before. So this is kind of like the before section or half, and then this is the after. I'm gonna do the other half off camera and then we're gonna um bond down and cut the lace together. Okay, babies, so I went ahead and just used the tweezers to do the other side. And as you guys can see, I didn't do it perfect. Like, this side right here looks a little bit more thin than this side. So once we bond it down, I'll be able to see, like, very good exactly what else I need to, like, cut. But I do want to keep it full to kind of keep the same or similar density to the rest of the hair. So I'm probably going to just trim them and kind of just play with them and tease them. We'll see. Should I do that or should I soup them? I'm not quite sure. But for now, we need to go ahead and bond it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send them back. Because I don't want them to interfere with a good clean install. Um, also, you can definitely go in and bleach the knots. That's something that I'm not going to do today. Our bodies collide Baby, you're everything I want Let's give it some time, yeah Somebody told me I should hit and run Let's go ahead and bond her down together and I'll put some music over. Oh, and I will say that this one does fit pretty glueless. You guys can see how I put it on top. It's not melted quite yet. I gotta blend that in with um, a little bit of something that matches my complexion. But it does sit on the head without any product. So that is a bonus because it definitely like hugs my head. So if you don't bond it down, um, you'll be okay. Oh no. and do the ends let's focus on like the actual hair and get this as cute and curly as we can get it and then we'll go back and do the um baby hair or the curly edges as the final touch and decide like do we leave it exactly like this do we swoop it do we cut it shorter i mean there's so many options but let's just focus on the hair but they don't know they don't know they don't know Okay, so I went ahead and sprayed it down. I didn't get it like um, soaking wet, but it was very, 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 very damp. I'm gonna add a little bit of Cantu leave-in just because it's easy to stick my finger in there and grab um, without squeezing out. I'm starting from the ends up. Then as a surprise, I'm gonna take like a couple pumps. A couple pumps of that curl maker and I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. And at this point, you can take the denim brush. And this is curly hair and you've been messing with it. So be mindful that you might want to go in with the wide tooth comb first. Because curly hair is essentially supposed to tangle. Okay, I love the product, but sometimes um, detangling or like clumping it will remind you. Like you see how this looks and this looks. This reminds you need a little more H2O, so we'll do a little more water. And this is gorgeous. This is the curls with dim and brush. And again, I think I'm going to add a little bit more product, especially under here. You see how that looks? I'm also going to add a little bit of this curl maker to the hairline. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to add the product just to kind of see what happens on its own naturally. And you can kind of do a lift there if you want to 
define that and I'm gonna let this set and I'm gonna do this side off camera but you guys can see the before and after this is the before this is the after okay curls are popping I want them to set a little bit more so um, I'm gonna let them set and not touch them but I'm gonna go ahead and do the concealer and the parting as well um, this is the Too Faced you guys already know and I'm gonna look at the mirror because if I look at the viewfinder or the screen this is just going to be a disaster. I'm going to go ahead and beat my face. For now, I love the way it looks with just a baby hair natural like this. But let me do my makeup first so that we'll come back. So this is the look. I went ahead and put on the little top. Believe it or not, I got this top last summer from Walmart. It's really cute. It gives like a little picnic vibe with some denim shorts. Super duper cute. Now, um, the hair is definitely about... 85, 90% damp are dry. The ends are dry right here is a little damp, which is to be expected. But you guys can definitely see the definition and the curl pattern. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Also, um, this is the packaging. Came with a cute little purple dust bag. Inside of my bag, they did provide me with some uh, invis invisible HD wig caps as well as a melt belt. And they also provided some lashes and it's really cool because that's a two pack and they're nice and 3d like nice and thick and full so them definitely can go inside like my travel bag and stuff but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out the description box any question you may have is down below including a direct link to this beauty here thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches